Hi guys, welcome and thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the content that I share here. Now guys, we're hopping right back into this mini series, Getting to Know Me. So today is going to make date number three, if you will. Now we already covered six quirky things about me, as well as six shameful things about me. So I thought today we would discuss a little bit about my personality type, shall we? Now, when you think about personality, you typically think about two types. You have type A, type B. In some situations, you may have a type C and even a type D, but we won't discuss those here. And just in case you're not familiar with type A or type B, kind of give you just a roundabout uh, example, if you will. Type A is your aunt. Always marching towards something, always working towards something, always carrying a load, if you will. Type B, grasshopper. Just hops right along and goes where the wind blows. Two different types of personalities there, right? I would have to say, I have learned, and I'm still learning in regards to myself, that I'm totally type A personality. I mean, it's type A to the T, and to a fault sometimes. But I have learned also that I have a little bit of type B in me. So let's get into this, shall we? Now, I have been told, and I can see why, that I kind of come across as a itch, if you will. But I'm not, I'm totally not. I am one of the most loving, compassionate people I know. Look at me boosting my own ego. But no, seriously, I mean, I love hard. I really do, I love with my whole heart and nothing else. Um, but I am a person, when I'm walking into something, for the first time, my my guard is up. And you see it here because I wear my emotions literally on my face. So my guard is definitely up. So it may come across as if I'm not interested or maybe I think I don't belong in a situation or I think I'm better than the situation or what have you. That's not me at all. It's me literally sitting back, analyzing everything that's going on in whatever particular situation I'm in. It's just who I am. Um, Granted, it's my personality. And with that, I'm always so focused on what the task is, I sometimes forget to live in the moment, if you will. By now, as you guys have been watching my vlogs, um, watching, the con you know, watching the content I have been putting out, I'm sure you have picked up on that in some sense or another. That I'm so oriented, task-oriented and focused that sometimes I forget that there's a whole world around me, if you will. So, to a fault, type A. Another personality fact about me is I'm very goofy, <laughs> you know. I, seriously, I laugh at my own jokes. I told you guys that before. I'm just, I, and, and it's funny because watching my kids, especially my oldest daughter, I see where she gets it from. It's me because she's so, the girl is just, she's funny and she's goofy. And she's just, I don't know, she's just one of those characters, but I'm goofy. You know, people don't tend to get that from me because, again, I always have that wall going, that wall up, and I'm always so serious, you know. Uh, personality fact number three. I have a tendency, just a little tendency, not a big one, to believe I'm always right. Who else does that? Raise your hand. Come on, raise your hand. Be for real, raise your hand. <laughs> I think we all do that to a point, right? But... And it's not so much that I think I'm right, it's that I am I trust myself and my opinion so much that I will go to bat for it. Even though I could be dead wrong. I, you know, I tell people I laughingly joke and my husband says the same thing quite often. Jesus himself could be sitting there telling me no, no, no. I mean, he could be right there telling me, bye Felicia. <laughs> Seriously, bye Felicia. And I'm still gonna stay in my ground saying, but, but if we, to a fault, type A personality. But with that, personality type number four, is it? I have learned how to be a very humble person. I don't think that's something that just comes, I don't know, it may come natural for some people, it doesn't for me, but I have learned and I'm still learning how to put myself in those humbling positions, if you will. Um, so I'm very good at taking a step back and allowing someone else to step in and do what needs to be done in whatever situation it might be. 
personality type number five. I have a touch of OCD. I have this, this, this concept in my mind that there's a place for everything and hell, everything should be in this place. You guys don't even understand. I don't even know how I manage to have four kids, for one, or how I run a home daycare, for two, because I cannot stay in clutter. I cannot stay with something that's not in the spot that I left it in. Trust me, bananas. Okay, so personality trait number five. I'm a all or nothing kind of girl. And what I mean by that is, is I give literally my all to any and everything I'm touching. For instance, YouTube. Now it's with a balance, because obviously this is not, this is a hobby. This is me having fun and getting out there meeting new people. Um, well, not meeting, but you guys know what I mean. It's a social world. People don't meet face to face the moment, they meet by typing. So I'm getting to meet you guys. There you have it. But I'm a all or nothing girl. I will give all of myself to something. I don't know how to give a little bit. Um, and to a fault, that's not always a good thing. Women, I know we can totally agree on this because you can only do so much in a 24-hour period, period, right? So if I'm trying to expand myself to everything, I will eventually crumble at some point, right? So to a fault, I give 100% of myself. There you have it. Uh, personality number, personality trait number six. Um, I don't know, I guess I would have to say, I take myself way too serious. I do, I take myself way too serious. You know, that's just, I don't, I know how to have fun. Don't get me wrong, because I, I told you that, guys, that already, I know how to have fun. But when I'm focused and I'm ready on a mission, I'm like, bam, 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 let's get it done. I ain't got time to be playing with nobody kids. Literally. <laughs> I'm about to take care of business, let's get this here done. So to a fault, I take myself way too serious sometimes. Um, but yeah, so that's that's it, guys. That's all I have. That, that, that's it. This is like a random 15 minutes in my day that I had free. Then all of my babies are now sleeping. My kiddos are upstairs watching TV and not asking me for food. So I thought I would come down here and get this video recorded for you guys um, and so forth. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are enjoying this little mini series of getting to know me. I have two more topics planned. Um, so fingers crossed I get those recorded within the next few um, days to get those up for you guys. I have a lot of other great content that I'm working on putting out on my channel. Again, guys, I would like to get your feedback, um, anything that you would like to know about me, any content you would like to see shared here, guys, you let me know in the comments below. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Also, guys, be sure to follow me on Facebook. I do have a Facebook page. I believe I'm using it correctly, guys. We done talked about this. This social media stuff, I'm working and I'm, I'm getting there. Work with me, teach me, pull me along. Help a sister out. You know what I'm saying? But no, seriously, follow me on Facebook. Um, and I'll leave that below. But I'll, that's all I have, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, this is around 15 minutes. I mean... I didn't even comb my hair. I like to believe that my shirt is clean. Look, I got two infants today. And that's all I need to say. I have two infants today. That's all I need to say. So, I hope I'm clean. My hair is probably all over my head. And yes, I woke up like this. That's how that is. Guys, thank you so much. I love you guys. I'm having so much fun. I'm enjoying this. Um, until next time, guys, I'm out. Mm -hmm.